Hey guys, we're back with another video hosted by The Latino Next Door and co-hosted by The Farmer and The Southern Belle. I want you guys to check out the playlist. Today is a look for list, so we're gonna jump right into it. Here we go. Let's look for the idea that we're gonna get from Kirkland's. And I'm gonna go ahead and just search for a window pane because I already have them on hand. Hmm, which one do I like? I think I might choose this one. Here we go. And this is gonna be the look we're gonna do, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I decided to challenge myself. So while I'm looking, I'm gonna see how Kirkland actually has their entire photo laid out. I'm gonna give you a little twist at the very end, so don't forget to watch the video to the very, very end. And I want you guys to take a moment, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna give you a little hint. I want you to comment down below at the very end of the video, which look you like the best. All right, guys, here's our total. This is what we're doing. First, we're gonna go ahead and start out by sanding down our window pane. Next, we're gonna clean it up a bit. Make sure it's all clean, clean, clean. Everyone loves clean, right? <laughs> now we're gonna take sanding paper and sand off the excess hardened paint. I wanna do this now before I actually start painting mines because mines will be a lot easier to sand off. Here we are grabbing the white paint and then we're grabbing seashell pink. I love this color. And here's that tray from Dollar Tree. Don't forget, Dollar Tree has some amazing products, guys. Utilize them to the best of your ability. Here's our paintbrush. We're gonna get a little dab onto the paintbrush. Not a lot, just a little bit of each color. It's okay if you're mixing the color for this look. This is what we wanna do for this particular look. No, I'm not going with the white that was chosen for the actual dupe. I decided to do a little splash of my own personality in this DIY. I think you guys got the hang of it, so I'll finish off cam and we're gonna come back and go ahead and screw on some hooks to hang our frames. Remember I said we had a little surprise, so this we're gonna be doing multiple DIYs. And here's some doilies that I actually had from uh, about a few years ago. I forgot about them, but I was going through my stash for another video and found these and said that I must, must use them. And I'm going to be using them today. This jar I got from the Goodwill, it was 88 cents, but I only paid 44 cents because it was half off. Again, I'm using some glass cleaner in order to get the stickers off. I found out that this works best if you just spray and let it sit and then it peels off with no problem and I'll come in and I'll clean it all up for you. Okay guys, so we're about to get started. I'm grabbing some Mod Podge and I'm grabbing my doilies. We're gonna cut it down and here I think I'm just thinking about what style I'm actually gonna do. I never thought this through. This was just a last minute throw in because I decided to do a complete look. This DIY is pretty simple, so I'm gonna allow you guys to just continue to watch and enjoy, and then I'll come back in on our next DIY. Yes, there's gonna be a third DIY. I'm so loving this challenge. I hope you guys are enjoying the video, and remember, please, please, please subscribe. I love bringing you guys content. I want to spread this to everyone, so if you can, please subscribe to my channel, like, and make sure you comment.
right, here's our third DIY. And yet again, this is something I already had on hand, so I'm going to be using it because it's no good just lying around doing nothing. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble it, taking it completely apart to separate the rings so that we have two separate rings. Now that that's all complete, let's go ahead and grab some ping pong balls. I'm gonna go ahead and make an X onto each ping pong ball, ball at the very top and at the very bottom so that it can slide easily onto my ring. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab some paint because a DIY without paint is not your own. So I'm gonna grab some paint and we're gonna grab the brown and the white because we're gonna make these look like they're actually wooden beads. So I just simply dip my brush into both sides of the paint at the same time to get the two colors so that it gives this effect um, that actually looks like wooden beads when you're brushing it on. Now I'm adding my beads or my faux beads to my ring. We're gonna put them all on and then what I'll do is go ahead and hot glue them at the end so that they stay onto the ring without moving. Now that that's complete, we need to close off our ring so that it's a full circle. We'll put some hot glue back on it to hold it together. And we're gonna grab some magnolia leaves and then we're gonna just hot glue them around the entire ring. take some Dollar Tree flowers that I actually got. This is all that I spent on this. I actually had the ping pong balls on hand, so I grabbed some flowers from Dollar Tree when I was there, and I decided to add them to my look. I clip off the back on the outer two um, flowers. The inner flower, I use that to give me a base in order to glue down the flowers. And here's my final look. I hope you guys enjoy because I really, really, really love the way that this turned out. Sitting in my kitchen, looking at these windows, imagining that it goes to a far, far place is amazing. It's more of a shabby, chic type of look. I hope you guys take some time out and try it. I mean, if you have the window panes lying around and an empty space on your wall, why not fill it up? Now this is my first look. This is the look that I tried to recreate my own version of what was in the actual photo when I was shopping on Kirkland's. And here's the second look. So I decided to go ahead and add two more window panes to my look since they cost me absolutely nothing. Remember, each pane actually costs you about $60. So I was able to save a lot by doing it myself. DIY is a girl's best friend. Always remember that. So my price came out to be $0 for the look for the dupe and my actual full look came out to be less than $5.